Today, the $2.2 trillion CARES Act that was passed in late March expires. Now, the stimulus package had included sending many Americans a $1,200 check and adding $600 to the weekly unemployment benefits. Congress working on another relief package, but so far nothing yet passed. Rose McBride's with us this morning to explain what this means for you in the meantime. Hey, Rose. Hi, Brooke. The last payment with that extra $600 in unemployment benefits went out last week. Now, both the Democrats and Republicans have packages that they would like to pass. And in the meantime, the White House suggested adding a $600 bonus this week again. But the Democrats did not accept that, saying that they want more of a complete package, less of a piecemeal approach, which was what was suggested. So let's take a look at some of those current unemployment numbers in both Kentucky and Indiana. Kentucky's June 2020 unemployment rate was at 4.3%. That's about the same rate we saw in February. It's actually the lowest in the country, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. It's down 10.9% from May. That, that was the May number, but the director of the UK Center for Business and Economic Research says that number is deceiving. He says large numbers of people who are unemployed have just stopped looking for work altogether right now. 158,000 more people were unemployed in June compared to February of this year. Indiana, on the other hand, has one of the higher unemployment rates in the country at 11.2%. That's down slightly from a rate of 12.3% this May, but nowhere near the rate at the beginning of the year, which was 3.1. But with benefits expired for those people in Kentuckiana that are still out of work, let's talk about what could be coming up in the works. So the CARES Act, as we know, in March offered $600 per week in addition to state benefits. The Democrats' HEROES Act, which was passed in the House but not in the Senate, would offer the same benefits as CARES, meaning $600 per week until January of 2021 for most workers. The GOP's HEALS Act reduces that benefit to $200 through September. Then beginning in October, states would issue unemployment payments equal to 70% of a person's previous wages or up to $500 per week in additional payments. And yesterday, a, governor, a government report came out saying that, 30, that the economy shrank 33% in that quarter that included April to June. So the stakes are pretty high right now. Those conversations are going to continue in Washington today. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.